Hey, 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 do you know what time it is? It is your Windsor SS Conkey Weekly Real Summary Recap. In this week's episode, I'm going to share with you the real stats so far for the month of August in Windsor SS County. Stick around to the end to find out what to expect if you're thinking of making a move in Windsor SS County. My name is Chris Tromatar from Rail. I'm a local realtor serving in Windsor SS County. Each week, we bring you the latest real estate market data for Windsor SS County. By the way, if you're considering moving to or within the Windsor SS County, buying, selling, and relocating, please feel free to reach out to us. We help people just like you make the right informed decision every single month. Here are the numbers. We have 968 homes who are listed on MLS, 428 homes sold in the same time frame, 94 homes became expired listings, 469 homes became canceled listings. Average sale price is just over $595,000. Median sale price is just over $525,000. Every day to sell a home is 29 days. If you find a value in this video, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. It really makes a huge difference for our channel growth. Condo data are as follows. We had 74 condos were listed on MLS as compared to 42 condos sold in the same time frame, 19 expired listings, 45 canceled listings. Average sale price is just over $438,000. Median sale price is just over $360,000. Every day to sell a condo is 32 days. This coming Wednesday on September the 4th, I strongly believe the Bank of Canada will reduce its key rate again by a minimum of 0.25% basis from 4.5% to 4.25%. And I expect even for the rate cuts moving forward in October and December of this year, I wouldn't be surprised to see their overnight rate be under 4% by the end of the year. This can be good news for you, the consumer, if these rates cuts are passed on to you by your local lending institution, banks, credit union, etc. And I know the next question is, what would it mean to you as a buyer or seller in our local real estate market? It would definitely make home buyers breathe a sigh of relief. They're going to feel more confident that things are looking up for them. They're going to probably qualify for more money to buy a home. More buyers will come into the market and prices will go up in my opinion but not crazy high i'd say the average price will be around the six hundred thousand dollar price range we will continue to see multiple offers on homes just like we're seeing right now firm unconditional offer as well will be on many offers and here's an example of what we're seeing i try to share with you what me and my client are seeing as well as many agents and colleagues of mine are seeing the same thing this week, my client saw a home that they were interested in. This particular home was listed just under $350,000. It is located in the west side of Windsor, a decent area. It is a three bedroom, one bathroom home with an unfinished basement with the potential to add another bedroom and bathroom on a nice large lot, which you probably can add an ADU, providing that the city permits such use case scenario and approves it. There was no garage, but a driveway large enough to fit a couple of vehicles. It was nicely updated and in turn key move in ready condition. There was an offer date already scheduled. They received two preemptive offers, which is also known as a bully offer. What this means is that the seller had a specific date to review all offers, but a buyer loved the home so much that they consulted with their agent and decided that they would bring an offer that was so good that the seller would likely have to look at it or he may miss out on a great offer. These offers are normally a clean offer with no mortgage financing or home inspection condition. Sometimes it is way above the list price with a good deposit with terms that the seller will likely most accept. The seller did accept that offer. It was sold 8.5% over the list price, which in my opinion was a very realistic price for that home. There was another home in which I just saw a huge price drop. This home, my client is interested in it. It was listed at $800,000. It was a three plus bedroom, newer home, less than five years old, ranch in a great lakeshore neighborhood, three plus bathroom with an ensuite. Everything was done. And now I see it listed at $750,000. Here's my takeaway based on me and my client personal experiences and data. If you're a buyer, here's what you should expect in the current market, especially if the home is in a good location, price low, 
is in moving ready condition. We are seeing competition among buyers, multiple offers on some properties, meaning more than one offer. Expect to pay more than the list price. Expect other offers to be clean and firm without any conditions, such as a home inspection or mortgage financing condition. The higher price homes are taking a bit longer to sell. It all depends on the location, price and condition of the home and the motivation of the seller. Price fixes everything in this market. If you would like some great tips on what to do if you're planning to buy or sell your home or condo in Windsor Estes County or anywhere, please reach out to us and I will personally send you the info. I do hope you find a value in our video. Let me know what you think about our local real estate market in the comments below. If you'd like for us to help you anyway, please contact us or leave a comment on this video. We'd love to talk to you a little bit more of your goals and how we can help you. Take care. Have a great week. Have a great weekend and talk to you soon. Bye now.